By studying the video and these instructions, you will learn what a parallelogram is, how it fits into the family of polygons, how to identify its angles and sides, how to prove you have a parallelogram, and what are its identifying properties. Let's begin. What is a parallelogram? A parallelogram is a flat shape with four straight connecting sides so that opposite sides are congruent and parallel. This means a parallelogram is 1. A plain figure, 2. A closed shape, and 3. A quadrilateral. You can have almost all of these qualities and still not have a parallelogram. If the four sides do not connect at their endpoints, you do not have a closed shape, no parallelogram. If one side is longer than its opposite side, you do not have parallel sides, no parallelogram. If only one set of opposite sides are congruent, you do not have a parallelogram. You have a trapezoid. Now, let's make a parallelogram. Take a rectangle and push either its left or right side so it leans over. You have a parallelogram. A rectangle is a type of parallelogram. You can draw parallelograms. Use a straight edge, ruler, to draw a horizontal line segment. Then draw another identical, congruent line segment some distance above and to one side of the first one, so they do not line up vertically. Make sure that second line segment is parallel to, or equidistant to, the first line segment. Connect the endpoints, and you have a parallelogram. Next, we will label our parallelogram. Start at any vertex, corner, write a capital letter, then move either clockwise or counterclockwise to the next vertex. Use a different capital letter. For our parallelogram, we will label it WXYZ, but you can use any four letters as long as they are not the same as each other. The four line segments making up the parallelogram are WX, XY, YZ, and ZW. Notice that line segments WX and YZ are congruent. Line segments XY and ZW are also congruent. The interior angles are angle W, angle X, angle Y, and angle Z. The opposite angles are congruent. In our parallelogram, that means angle W equals angle Y and angle X equals angle Z. Connecting opposite, non-adjacent vertices gives you diagonals WY and XZ. One interesting property of a parallelogram is that its two diagonals bisect each other, cut each other in half. Another property is that each diagonal forms two congruent triangles inside the parallelogram. Let's go over the names for parallelograms. The name, parallelogram, gives away one of its identifying properties, which is two pairs of parallel opposite sides. A parallelogram does not have other names. Other shapes, however, are types of parallelograms. These geometric figures are part of the family of parallelograms. A rhombus, also known as a diamond, rhomb, or lozenge, is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four congruent interior angles. A square is a parallelogram with four congruent sides and four congruent interior angles. Next, we'll check out the properties of parallelograms. For such simple shapes, parallelograms have some interesting properties. You can examine them based on their diagonals, their sides, or their interior angles. We already mentioned that their diagonals bisect each other. Let's look at their sides and angles. The opposite sides are parallel. Look at the parallelogram in our drawing. The bottom, base side, YZ, and top, WX, are parallel. If you were to extend their line segments, they would never meet. The left and right sides, XY and ZW, are also parallel. The opposite sides are congruent. The base side, YZ, and the top side, WX, of our parallelogram are equal in length, congruent. The left side, XY, and the right side, ZW, are also congruent. To be a parallelogram, the base and top sides must be parallel and congruent, and so must the left and right sides. The base and top side make a congruent pair. The left and right side make a congruent pair. The two pairs of congruent sides may be, but do not have to be, congruent to each other. If both pairs are congruent, you have either a rhombus or a square. 
let's look at the angles of parallelograms. Now consider just the interior angles of parallelograms, angle W, angle X, angle Y, and angle Z. As with any quadrilateral, the interior angles add to 360 degrees, but you can also know more about a parallelogram's angles. The opposite angles are equal to each other. Angle W and angle Y are congruent, and angle X and angle Z are congruent. The two pairs are not necessarily congruent, but they can be, as in a square or rectangle. Also, any two adjacent angles of a parallelogram add up to 180 degrees. So you can state four equations. Angle W plus angle X equals 180 degrees. Angle X plus angle Y equals 180 degrees. Angle Y plus angle Z equals 180 degrees. Angle Z plus angle W equals 180 degrees. This means any two adjacent angles are supplementary, adding to 180 degrees. Using the properties of diagonals, sides, and angles, you can always identify parallelograms. You do not need to go through all four identifying properties. Check for any one of these identifying properties. 1. The diagonals bisect each other. 2. There are two pairs of parallel opposite sides. 3. There are two pairs of congruent equal opposite angles. And 4. There are two pairs of equal and parallel opposite sides. You can also use proof theorems about a plane closed quadrilateral to discover if it is a parallelogram. If the quadrilateral has bisecting diagonals, it is a parallelogram. If the quadrilateral has two pairs of opposite congruent sides, it is a parallelogram. If the quadrilateral has consecutive supplementary angles, it is a parallelogram. And if the quadrilateral has one set of opposite parallel congruent sides, it is a parallelogram. In the lesson, you have learned that a parallelogram is a closed, plane figure with four sides. It is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel congruent sides. Its four interior angles add to 360 degrees, and any two adjacent angles are supplementary, meaning they add to 180 degrees. Opposite, non-adjacent angles are congruent, and the two diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. 